President Biden has recently signed a new initiative that aims to provide financial assistance to seniors and veterans who have been disproportionately affected by the high cost of living, soaring prices, and the overall impact of inflation. This initiative includes a special one-time payment of $3,000 for those receiving Social Security Supplemental Security Income, SSI Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, or VIA benefits. In this video, we'll break down everything you need to know about these important payments, including eligibility criteria, payment schedules, next steps if you haven't received your check yet, and additional resources available for seniors and veterans. Welcome to Wealth Boss, your trusted source for the latest updates on Social Security and fourth stimulus checks tailored for American seniors, including SSI, SSDI, and VIA recipients. I hope you are all doing well. Let's get right into it. This initiative is a significant effort by the administration to support those who have contributed so much to our society. If you're a senior citizen counting on your Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VIA benefits to make ends meet, you could be eligible for this substantial new direct payment of $3,000. This one-time payment was included as part of the Inflation Relief for Seniors Act, which aims to provide financial assistance to older Americans on fixed incomes who have been disproportionately impacted by high costs of living, soaring prices on essential goods, and the overall effects of inflation. With the average Social Security benefit being just around $1,600 per month and millions of seniors living at or below the poverty line, this $3,000 payment could prove to be a vital lifeline to help cover expenses like housing, healthcare, groceries, utilities, and more. However, there are specific eligibility criteria and income limits to qualify for this payment. According to the legislation, the $3,000 direct payment is limited to individuals age 65 and older who currently receive Social Security retirement benefits, SSSDI or VIA disability compensation or pension benefit. There are also income limits based on your tax filing status. For single tax filers, the full $3,000 payment is reserved for those with an adjusted gross income a GI of $75,000 or less, with partial payments for ages between $75,100 and $90,000. Married couples filing jointly can receive the full amount per spouse if their joint AGI is $150,000 or below, and partial payments with a joint AGI between $150,100 and $180,000. For heads of household, the full payment kicks in under $112,500 in AGI with a partial payment for ages between $112,500 and $135,000. The payments phase out entirely for single tax filers, above $90,000 at GI married joint filers above $180,000, and heads of household above $135,000. Recipients who are claimed as dependents on someone else's return can still qualify for the $3,000 if they meet the other eligibility criteria. Older Americans living overseas and collecting Social Security also aren't excluded based on residency. If you're a Social Security retirement or SSDI beneficiary who meets the age and income requirements, you should receive the $3,000 payment automatically by the same method you normally get your monthly benefits, no extra action is required. The same applies for SSI recipients and those receiving VIA compensation or pensions. The Social Security Administration, the Department of Veterans Affairs, and other agencies will handle distributing these payments as they do regular disbursements. One key point is that this $3,000 is considered a direct payment to assist with rising costs, completely separate from your regular monthly federal benefits. It does not need to be reported as taxable income unless your income exceeds the thresholds to receive the full payment amount. In that case, the difference between $3,000 and your partial payment may count as taxable income. The timeline for when these payments will actually arrive is still being finalized between the various agencies. However, the goal, according to the Biden administration, is for the vast majority to be issued before the end of 2023, likely around October or November. Those receiving federal benefits via electronic transfer, 
can likely expect their $3,000 payment the same way, while others may get paper checks or debit cards in the mail. Beyond just the $3,000 direct payments, the Inflation Relief for Seniors Act also contains other provisions aimed at shielding older Americans from rising costs and inflation's impacts. This includes a significant expansion of the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, SNAP benefits for low-income seniors over 65, increasing the minimum monthly allotment by $55, and raising the income and asset limits to allow more recipients to qualify for food assistance. The bill also greenlights an 8.4% cost of living adjustment, COLA for Social Security in 2024, the largest increase in over 40 years to help beneficiaries retain more buying power as prices climb. The 2022 COLA of just 5.9% fell woefully short of actual inflation that year. To address housing affordability issues, the legislation provides extra funding for the Low Income Housing Tax Credit Program to finance more affordable senior housing projects, as well as a new housing credit for older adults that incentivizes developers to build and renovate rental units, specifically for low-income seniors. While a $3,000 direct payment may seem generous on its face, it's crucial to understand the financial pressures that have been weighing on the senior population and their fixed incomes from programs like Social Security over the past couple of years. Soaring inflation has caused prices on essentials like food, housing, health care, and energy to skyrocket at a pace not seen in decades. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the overall inflation rate from 2020 to 2022 was a staggering 14.5%. Yet seniors aged 65 and up, who rely heavily on modest fixed payments from Social Security, pensions, and savings that don't increase with inflation, have had no way to keep up. With the average monthly Social Security retirement benefit currently just $1,688, Budget strains from higher costs on even basic necessities like groceries and rent have severely impacted this vulnerable population's financial security. Data shows that Social Security accounts for at least half of total retirement income for over 60% of recipients age 65 and older. Relying so heavily on these fixed payments that barely covered living expenses to begin with, it becomes impossible for most seniors to absorb big price hikes across the board once inflation takes hold, especially those no longer able to work and earn supplemental income. Even before the recent spike in inflation, studies indicated a large number of older Americans already faced insurmountable challenges in affording housing, health care, utilities, and other living costs on just their Social Security checks alone. The cumulative effects of inflation compounding year after year have only intensified this reality and made the need for immediate financial relief all the more urgent. While the $3,000 payments and other measures contained in the Inflation Relief for Seniors Act aim to provide a temporary bulwark against the erosion of buying power, senior advocacy groups argue that more substantive long-term policy changes are still needed. This includes a reassessment of how the Social Security cost of living adjustments are calculated to better track real inflation levels, as well as potential reforms to raise the overall benefit amounts, which have failed to keep pace with the ever-increasing costs of aging. In the meantime, though, the $3,000 direct payments should offer some crucial breathing room for millions of vulnerable seniors struggling under the weight of inflation's impacts. For those eligible recipients on the financial brink, this one-time influx of funds could be the lifeline needed to afford basics, pay off looming essential bills, and regain some temporary economic stability. And for the luckier seniors in better financial standing, the payments give an opportunity to repair depleted retirement nest eggs, cover long-delayed home repairs or medical costs, or simply provide some overdue peace of mind. As debates around broader reforms to Social Security, Healthcare programs, affordable housing policies, and other senior supports continue. This emergency relief aims to address the pressing near term needs. Officials expect clear updates on processing timelines and disbursement logistics to be provided in the coming weeks and months. But for now, older Americans managing on fixed incomes have been thrown a short term lifeline to stay afloat amid the historic financial pressures of inflation and high costs of living. 
While the $3,000 direct payments will provide vital temporary relief, they don't address the underlying systemic issues that have left so many older Americans in financially precarious positions to begin with. Critics argue more substantive long-term policy reforms are still desperately needed. One of the biggest concerns raised by senior advocacy groups is how the Social Security Cost of Living Adjustments, COLAs, are calculated and applied each year. The formula used by the Social Security Administration to determine annual COA increases is based on the Consumer Price Index for Urban Wage Earners and Clerical Workers, CPIW. However, many experts contend this metric doesn't accurately reflect the true inflation. Experienced by retirees, whose spending is concentrated much more on health care, housing, and other goods and services that have seen particularly sharp price hikes in recent years. If you find this video valuable, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. And turn on the notification bell so you never miss an updates all things related stimulus.